Okay then. Oh, there's a question mark right behind us. Okay. Did I just not see that when I was climbing earlier or? Oh, actually it's in kind of a weird spot. It's apparently in the ground. Really? Really? Hmm, because it kind of looks like it might have been on the way to the climb, but I just didn't look at it properly, maybe? Uh, maybe let's try to go back this way. Right, because you can climb up here directly, right? So maybe I just missed something here? Yeah, it looks like I'm really- I'm basically staring right at it. Apparently. Oh! Bet a dyer would be interested in this. Yeah, earlier, this is exactly... Right, this is where we found the ladder. Oh, oh we're past it now, what the heck? I mean, I see it on the... Even on the map here, it's kind of in a weird underground spot. That's a bit... <laughs> mysterious. Okay... I mean, I don't want to leave if it's gonna be right around here, but at the same time, it kind of looks like... It's just in the ground, somehow. Uh... Oh! Be careful, Aloy. That's, that's a very strange question mark. Mm, maybe I'll walk around a little bit. Okay, I'm actually right here already. So the elevation looks like it's down below. It's an elevation issue then, most likely. If I try to go down more... Ah, you know what? It might be like inside a cave or something. Like a water cave. Like the cavern that we saw before. Completely possible. Oh! In fact, looking pretty likely at this point. We'll just very slowly make our way down. Ah, a little spot that's hidden away from everything here. In the creeks. Yet again. Thank you very much. Oh, I wonder if we have to catch fish. I just saw a fish swim by. Green shine silver. Daunt West. Ooh. I'll take all of this, of course. Even that. But earlier we were at the merchants and I don't think I saw anybody wanting this stuff. Maybe we have to look a little bit more carefully. And speaking of looking carefully, I think we need to... Go. We need to go, Aloy. Like, right now? Ooh. It's so unassuming when you look at it like this, but there's a whole different world just beneath us. Look at that. You don't have the required equipment. Oh, I need equipment to swim further here. Okay. We can keep exploring underwater? Seriously? That's pretty insane, actually. Okay. Fine, fine. <laughs> For once, being thorough right now doesn't seem to pay off because we're running into too many things that are just not within reach. But now we know it's here. Yeah, at least we know, right? So next time, we'll just come straight back to this point then. Okay, sounds good. How do I get out of here now? <laughs> Which way did I come from again? I just look this way? Wait. 
There was a squeezing through the crack thing. But I don't remember which way... Oh god, where was it? Hmm, our oxygen goes down really, really fast the deeper we go, which makes sense. Oh boy. I don't remember which way I came from. I'm having trouble just trying to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that might be a... Ah, oh, okay. Different levels here. I see. I see. Okay, let, let's just try to get out of here first. Can I? That way? Where was that one little crack? That's what I'm looking for. I just need to find the crack. Where was the crack? Here we go. Oh my god. Wait, they won't let me- Ah! Oh! Well, I, uh, I couldn't get out, so I guess we're just gonna continue on like this. <laughs> it's still safe that I found it, right? Yeah, so I guess that's okay, but it didn't give me the option of going through. But even if it did, I think I was, um... Yeah, so now we know that we can drown. I thought that it would start taking away my health if I was running out of oxygen, but we just die directly after a while, which... Okay, at least we know how it works, right? So let's continue on exploring then. It looks like there might be something here. A small settlement here. And then we also want to go to the campfire nearby. This is the quarry. Okay, we'll check out the house first. Sounds good to me. Where are you, little friend? I was so dumb, though. <laughs> the way I just died in the water there. Oh, whatever. Okay, let's go! Slowly, so that we don't die. Actually, how far of a drop can you take? This is too much for you. Let's go. Oh. Probably when we go to the Forbidden West, because it doesn't seem like it's much of a thing right now, but um, water. Water seems like a place that we'll be looking into pretty deeply. We're getting a sneak peek of what's to come, basically. So here's the quarry. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll be moving on. That is a raccoon, which means stop, drop, and roll. Okay, that was a little bit overkill. I didn't mean to use the fire arrows. <laughs> but hey! Can't argue with the results, right? Raccoon bone? Probably what I'm looking for. Oh, hey! There's people... People coming here. Hi. No, you're not part of the Osirum crew. What's your point? Savior! Hello! Welcome. Karja Kestrel. Chain scrape isn't so bad. You can get a drink and play strike all day. You guys going to the quarry? Hope you're not there to cause trouble. I marked a spot here, but oh, it's only a rock. It's a piece of rock. I thought there was a house, judging by the map. That's okay. We keep going then. In terms of question marks... Ah, the next place we want to go to is probably the hunting grounds. Mm. There's probably going to be some time-limited stuff there, which is not my favorite, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it. So here's the campfire. We'll save just in case. The stash! We should probably try to, um... Yeah, get some stuff from the stash if we come across it again later. Oh, look, they're rebuilding! Oh, wow. A crane! That looks so much like a modern crane. I guess it's a good design. Hey, 
Hey, there's a blight again. Well, we hadn't seen it for a while. I sort of forgot about it. Hmm. <coughs> Coughing. Oh, it doesn't smell any better than it looks. Got some machines over there. Azure Bloom. So Baron Light is pretty much right over here. Yeah, I'll go activate the charger site and then we'll go to the hunting grounds. And there's also a question mark here, which I'm guessing we have to like wrap around all this way. It doesn't look like we'll be able to climb up from this side. Hi. Oh, that's a that's a raccoon. That's a raccoon. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't don't get mad. I'm just passing through. Oh, it's not your lucky day today, my friend. They're not showing up in packs anymore, huh? They're scared. They know. They know I want them. Okay, I got it. There is a charger mount site tagged. And now the hunting grounds! Oh, the scenery is slowly changing around here. It feels very much like autumn. More foliage. It's less deserty. Oh. Somebody fishing here? Nobody's here now. Definitely seems like somebody's stuff though. Baron Light. Baron Light that way. Hunting grounds this way. Are there traps here? Oh, maybe this is where the Kestrels came from. You made it to the hunting grounds. Step right up. Don't be shy. Hi. I'll take care of this. Thurless. So you decided to visit the hunting grounds. Good on you. Izvod here is all kinds of trials, so hot shots like you can put their machine hunting skills to the test. Or as the Tanakh call it, earning your stripes. I thought hunting grounds were Karja. Stripes? Uh, the Tanakh have them out west too. Though if you ask the Karja, Westerners stole the idea from the Sundom. In fact, the Tanakh used this place for a while after they kicked the Karja out of the region. They even left behind some of the special coins they handed out to those who weren't stripes. Look, they're medals, Karja ones, more spoils. I heard you can trade them for gear somewhere in the Tanakh clan lands. Pretty gruesome, I know. Then again, so were the Karja during the Red Raids. Come to think of it, if you plan on going west, I could convince Izvod to give you some if you aren't stripes here. Seems like they might be of use to you out there. Thanks. Oh, and if you happen to play Strike, my friend over there has some nifty pieces to trade. You need anything for the trials, come see me. I have some wares I'm sure you'd find handy. Good luck. I need equipment for the trials? Okay. Ready to practice your hunting skills, huh? Oh, I accidentally started talking to him. Fast travel packs, no. I haven't even really used the smoke bombs. Oh, I can use the smoke bombs to go back into stealth again, right? Yeah, I've never really tried using any of these that much. Explosive trip caster. Rope caster. This can incapacitate machines by tying them down. Ropes must be shot at full draw in order to penetrate armor. So this one we don't have a... This is new. This is new. We want it. And I guess I'll... yeah, okay, um, hmm... There's a lot of stuff that I haven't been using around here. I guess I'll replace the Shock Tripcaster for the moment. But these all have special elements though, that's the... That's the tough thing, because if I want fire, then I want to keep the Fire Hunter Bow. If I want frost, then I want to keep the Frost Blastling. If I want shock, then I gotta keep the Tripcaster. They're not really about the ammo anymore, it's about the type of weapon. So these three? 
Uh, I guess I'll take away the spike thrower for now. Okay. Sure. Explosive tripcaster. So we have the shock version of this one. This one's not as important for me to get. Mmm, how come, how come it's by weapon type now? It's not really by the type of ammo. That makes it a little bit more annoying to manage. Good luck. Hi. Tying down machines. R2 while aiming to fire a rope. Attach enough and it'll become tied down. You wish to practice your hunting skills, savior? I do. Teach me more, please. Strike carver. Oh, okay. I can, I can buy a few. I guess I'll just buy all of them. Bristleback strike piece. Charger strike piece. Fanghorn strike piece. You can never have too many. Okay. Can we upgrade anything new here? Probably want to focus on upgrading my warrior bow. If it's going to be my main one. Mm hmm Sharp shot bow. Money? Do we have to worry about money? I feel like so far I haven't really been pressed for it, so maybe it's okay? I'm just scared of finding new, better weapons. So it's kind of like a waste of me upgrading all of this stuff here. Fire hunter bow. Yeah, some of this stuff I haven't really been using at all. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. So we got some nice coil slots now. Prototype spy thrower. Um... Prototype... Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll just stay here for now, okay? Because I feel like I want to use some of these weapons before we really spend too much time on it. Even the Frost Blastling, I haven't used it since the beginning, pretty much. Rope caster might be good, because we don't have another one of this. Okay. Okay, I'm out of upgrades. Nora anointed. Unlock weave slot? Yes. Fanghorn antler. Okay, good. Good, good. These ones... Resistances... Yeah. If we're gonna be going into Tanakh lands, I kinda want a Tanakh outfit to try to fit in. So these ones, Osirum, Nora... I'll leave it here for now. And have an extra potion. Pouch upgrade. Very important. Tripwire pouch. J wishbone. J feathers. Okay. Good, good. The next thing I need for the ammo. Yeah, the peccary. I don't know what the peccary is. We'll just have to find it when we come across it. Here to train for the hunt, Savior? Just looking around. A weave slot. Yes. Okay, so what we can do now is we have a lot of new slots activated. Coils and weaves. So for the warrior bow, my main one, I can put in some kind of coil, knockdown damage, critical hit chance. Mm, increases damage against knockdown enemies. Whenever I knock somebody down, I have a tendency of rushing up to them and use melee, so maybe not the best one for me here. Critical chance. Sharp shot bow. Oh, I can't, um... No, I can, I can, I can. Incompatible. Yeah, knock down for the sharp shot one. Rope caster. Slot locked. Fire hunter bow. Incompatible. I can put acid on the fire hunter bow. Oh, because it also uses acid, that's right. Think that's it for now? And then outfits. Can add one more weave to it. Range defense or acid defense? 
We haven't really run into human enemies yet. So maybe... maybe melee defense? Okay. Savior! The hunting grounds are open to you. Oh, there's a stash. Yeah. Thank you. That yielded results. Time to train, Savior. Hmm. What kind of hunting are we doing today? If you're looking for medals prized by the Tanakh, you can earn them here, Savior. Oh, and I'd like you to have this if you care to oh, use it. Oh no. Consider it my thanks for getting Thurlis out of trouble. See, that's what I mean. They just gave me a new bow, but I just upgraded my warrior bow. <laughs> Hunting grounds, the Daunt. All Karja warriors know that the sun sets on the unprepared. These grounds have long ready their hunters to face the fierce machines prowling the western border. From shooting off machine parts to using shock ammo and weapons efficiently, the trials found here will bestow lessons vital to surviving the Forbidden West. Hmm. Tear trial. Tear! Give me something related to tearing. Shoot off and loot scrounger power cells. If I want full stripes, I gotta do it in a minute and a half. Okay. And they recommend that I use a shock warrior bow or shock tripcaster to easily immobilize it. We don't have to. Um, okay, sure, we'll see. Everything's set up. Just use the ropes to jump in. Okay. Yeah, I just upgraded my warrior bow. But now they gave me a shock warrior bow. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I have to, right? Basically. I'll replace the sharp shot bow for now, just in case. What's it like damage-wise? But see, this one doesn't have a normal arrow either, like a normal ammo, so I might not want to make it my primary one. Because I feel like the, the normal one is the best one to have as the primary one. But sometimes we might run into machines that are resistant towards certain elements. Machines weak against frost. Frost? Why'd you give me shock? Oh, we want the power cells. Chain reaction. I'll tag this part. I'll tag that. And then... Can we just start shooting from here? No, we can't. Let's go then. What the heck? Oh! Did I get it? I think I just broke it. Where'd he go? Oh, you know what? What I'm doing is not the right way to be doing this, I think. Because what I'm doing is destroying the power cell, right? By using the shock. I think that's what's happening. If I want to loot it off. Yeah, like, I gotta do that. So a little bit misleading, actually. They were telling me, hey, you should use the shock arrow to immobilize it, but... <laughs> okay, not shooting directly on the thing. There we go. Uh, how long was that? Probably wasn't the best time, but... I spent the first little half doing basically nothing, so... <laughs> We can probably get a better time there. I still remember when the Tanakh forced us to retreat. They know something's up. So they gave up then. The Tanakh gave up the place. This border area used to be more of a Tanakh region. This is for you, savior. Oh, I got the full stripes even though I was loitering. Well, I guess it's cuz it's the first trial. Well, thank you. Not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Sweet.
And then, what else do we have here? Shock Trial? I thought they were gonna give me Tear Blast stuff, no. Shock Machine's nearest grounder by overloading its power cell. Okay, so this is what I was trying to do earlier. Hmm. Shock Machine's nearest grounder? Yeah, hitting a power cell with shock ammo. Delayed explosion. Use a shock warrior bow to hit the power cell and overload it near other machines. Wait, so what's my what's my goal here? I'm trying to shock machines near a scrounger. You can head down the ropes to start the trial. And we have to do that three times. Really, this one is really this one's dependent on the scroungers actually being next to another machine to begin with. I think that's the main thing here. I'll just tag all the parts to make it a little bit easier for me. A charger. No. Yeah, there's some environmental stuff too. Is there even... Are there even three scroungers here? We see chargers. Where are the scroungers? Hmm... Could hit it with acid. There we go. So I... Uh, yeah, we... I think we probably have to aggro everybody then, because we want to make sure that they end up next to each other, right? <laughs> uh, gotta find a good spot. All the scroungers are just walking around casually right now. It's not gonna freaking overload anybody. <gasps> oh, there's one more here. That's good. Uh, okay, I'll look for that one. See, the scrounger's walking closer. Oh, but it's a warrior bow, so we have to be careful about the distance. Come on! Oh, there's nobody nearby. Come over here. Anybody here? Oh, come on now, now, now would be a great time. Now would be a great time. Now. So that guy's not near anybody. Oh, come over here. Come over here. Oh. Come on, dude. Okay, you gotta, you gotta, everybody walk over here. I'm not getting the power cell, and even if I am, there's nobody else around here. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. All it got okay, was me. Better. Oh, I took so long, I didn't even count it. Oh, what? That's depressing. That's depressing. Everyone's angry. Let me out of here. The trials aren't as easy as they look, huh? But practice makes perfect. What'll it be? Hey, let's try it again then. Wait, did I really fail? No, I don't think I failed because I took too long. I probably failed because there weren't any more power cells in the trial, right? Because the slowest time there is 10 minutes. There was no way that was 10 minutes. I think I just broke it. Go down the ropes and I'll start timing you. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll try again. It's easier if we just tag all the parts to begin with. Could take off its power cell. Stop it from shooting back. No, don't take it off. We need it to shock people. That's the whole point. See, these chargers are just sitting here doing nothing, but there's no scroungers around them. Now this dude is walking over here, but there's no... Wait, what's your path? Okay, so it's gonna walk over to the, the chargers over there. Can I rely on that? Huh. 
Oh, we've got to be careful. Let's start preparing. Oh, I don't even have the freaking arrows. Jeez. Come over here. I can turn this around. One. Did I get the right one? Oh! Uh, didn't overload anybody, apparently. The tree! I got it. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> Much faster. Yeah, so I guess last time I just accidentally... I must have just taken off all the power cells and it wasn't possible. The is not for the faint of heart. Neither is the Forbidden West. It wasn't possible to complete it anymore. This is for you, savior. 30 seconds. Not so bad. There's a bit of a randomness component to this one, though, I think. Okay. Shock and trap trial. Use environmental traps set up in the grounds to kill machines in the shock state. Use environmental traps set up in the grounds. Ah, okay, these trials are building on top of each other. This one is telling you, hey, pay attention to the power cell. This one's saying, hey, use the power cell to shock people. And now this one's saying, hey, use the stuff around you to get the people who have been shocked. Okay. Environmental traps as in the, um, the logs and stuff, right? Grounds are all yours. Just use the ropes to jump in. Could be useful if I time it right. So again, maybe let's uh, focus... Start by tagging the part. Because we want to cause shock. Shock is very important here. Where are all the scroungers when I'm looking for them? Here we are. Yeah, lots of logs. We gotta walk around this time. Even if we don't use the power cell, we can still make people shocked just by shooting a whole bunch of shock arrows at them. <laughs> I think. I haven't really tried using environmental traps before. This will be a good chance for me to um, be forced to do so. Is that a raccoon? Oh, you raccoon. I'll get you next time. Maybe not now. Okay, so I'm looking around for environmental traps here. There's one here. Let's see. And then how do I, like... Oh, damn! Oh, that got me! That got me, too. So the, the log's over here. Come here! Come here! It's down. There's nothing over there, though. <laughs> It's a bad thing. Machines! Machines, come here! No! I'm trying to shock you without having the power cell. It's not working out. Now you're just dead. See, I wanted to use that right there, but there's nobody around me. Oh, that's not even a scrooger! He starts shooting it a lot. That's how we get the, the state going on, right? Oh, this is taking a while. Mm. Can't fire without ammo. Good point. There we go, right? But you're not near anything, yet again. Like, I... It's a bigger problem for me to try to... Uh. Oh! Well, okay. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's try that one again. 
The hardest thing about this trial is we have to make sure they're in position of an environmental trap. Like, okay, right here. Like, this is the easy one. Because... Right there. And then everyone else... Guys, just... Can you come over here? Okay, now you're trapped over there and there's, like, nothing there. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. It's a waste. You have got to stand right beneath the spot. For me to do anything. Oh, the logs over there. Somebody! Please, come over here. I'm empty. The smarter way to do this might be to use traps. Because then we'll make sure that they get shot right here. Alright? Finally! Oh, I probably should have got multiple of them just now. Mm. You? Anybody? Who wants to be shocked? Yeah, I think the trap would work better here. Right there. Perfect. Perfect, but I don't think that was a good time. That was... It feels like sometimes maybe the, um, the trial is overly specific. I understand they want me to try out new techniques, but that felt like very, very specific. You did well. Not that I expected any less. Now, claim your reward. A reward well earned. Oh, I still got full stripes. Okay. Yeah, if we use the, the trip caster instead and put it right next to the environmental stuff, I think that would have been good. But we did it. Ten hunting medals. Grand full stripes reward. Sweet. And I believe that's it. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. These grounds are always open to you. We got some nice coils out of that, huh? I feel like they were pretty lenient towards me here because it was my first hunting grounds. Later on, it'll probably get harder. What do I do now, though? Because now I have a shock warrior bow and all this. Um... I don't think I'm gonna be using the Shock Warrior Bow for now. Yeah, like these elements, I have I have the Trip Caster anyway. We'll just have to keep trying to use them. Because I have a lot of stuff here, but I, I haven't really been... ...spreading out the usage of them. You wish to practice your hunting skills, Savior? Shock Trip Caster. Especially the, the Rope Caster. That's gonna be really important for bigger enemies, probably. 